My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved child, in a world filled with turmoil and uncertainty, I want to remind you of my unwavering presence and the protection I offer. I am your shield against all evil, a constant source of strength and refuge. When the storms of life rage around you, know that you are never alone. I am here, standing by your side, ready to guard and guide you through every challenge. From the beginning of time, I have been your protector. Just as a shepherd watches over his flock, I watch over you. I know every detail of your life, every fear, every hope, and every need. My love for you is boundless, and my commitment to your well-being is eternal. When you feel overwhelmed by the darkness, remember that my light is always shining, ready to dispel the shadows and bring you peace. Evil exists in this world, manifesting in many forms, temptation, suffering, hatred, and despair. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. My victory over sin and death ensures that no power of darkness can ever defeat you. You are more than a conqueror through me, and nothing can separate you from my love. When you face temptation, I provide a way out. When you encounter suffering, I offer comfort and hope. When hatred seeks to tear you apart, I pour out my love and grace. And when despair tries to take hold of your heart, I lift you up with my promises. Trust in me, and you will find the strength to resist evil and stand firm in your faith. Consider the story of David, a young shepherd boy who faced the giant Goliath. With nothing but a sling and a few stones, David trusted in my power and protection. He declared, The battle is the Lord's, and with that faith he defeated the giant. Like David, you too can face your giants with confidence, knowing that I am with you. Remember the words I spoke to Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. These words are for you as well. In every battle you face, be strong and courageous, for I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the midst of your struggles, turn to me in prayer. Prayer is a powerful weapon against the forces of evil. When you call upon my name, I hear you and respond. My spirit intercedes for you, guiding you and strengthening you. Through prayer, you can find peace in the midst of chaos and clarity in the midst of confusion. Immerse yourself in my word, for it is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. The scriptures are filled with my promises and truths that can fortify your spirit and renew your mind. When you meditate on my word, you equip yourself with the knowledge and wisdom needed to stand against the enemy's schemes. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can support and encourage you. The community of faith is a source of strength and accountability. Together, you can lift each other up, bear one another's burdens, and stand united against the forces of darkness. In unity, there is power. And where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Do not underestimate the power of praise and worship. When you lift your voice in worship, you declare my greatness and invite my presence into your situation. Praise breaks chains and shatters strongholds. It shifts your focus from the problem to the one who holds the solution. Worship is a weapon that can turn the tide of any battle. Guard your heart and mind, for they are the battleground where the enemy often attacks. Be vigilant and discerning, rejecting lies and embracing my truth. Fill your mind with thoughts that are noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. By doing so, you build a fortress of peace and joy that the enemy cannot penetrate. When you encounter evil in the world, 
respond with love and compassion. My commandment to love one another as I have loved you is a powerful antidote to hatred and violence. Love has the power to transform hearts and heal wounds. It is through love that you reflect my character and bring light into the darkest places. In your journey, you will face trials and tribulations, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. The path may be difficult, but I am your guide and protector. When you stumble, I am there to lift you up. When you are weary, I give you rest. When you are afraid, I offer you courage. Trust in me and you will find the strength to persevere. My beloved child, I am your shield, your fortress, and your refuge. In me you are safe and secure. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me. Remember, the enemy is already defeated. My death and resurrection sealed his fate. The victory is won, and you are on the winning side. Stand firm in this truth, and let it empower you to live boldly and confidently. Let your life be a testament to my grace and power. As you walk this journey, keep your eyes fixed on me. Do not be distracted by the chaos around you. Focus on my presence, my promises, and my love. When you keep your gaze on me, you will find the peace that surpasses all understanding and the strength to overcome any obstacle. In every moment, in every situation, I am with you. My love surrounds you, my grace sustains you, and my power protects you. You are never alone, for I am your constant companion, your ever-present help in times of trouble. My beloved child, take heart. I am your shield against evil. Trust in me, lean on me, and walk in the confidence that comes from knowing you are deeply loved and eternally secure in my care. My beloved child, as you continue to navigate the complexities of this world, remember that my guidance and protection are ever-present. Each day brings its own set of challenges, but I am here to equip you with the strength and wisdom you need to face them. Lean into my presence and draw from the wellspring of my love and grace. Evil may come in subtle forms, whispering lies and sowing seeds of doubt. It seeks to undermine your faith and steal your joy. But you, my child, are equipped with the armor of God. Put on the full armor, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. With this armor you can stand against the wiles of the devil, protected and ready to fight the good fight of faith. Your faith is a powerful shield, extinguishing all the fiery darts of the wicked one. It is by faith that you can move mountains, overcome obstacles, and walk in victory. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It connects you to my promises and activates my power in your life. Nurture your faith by staying rooted in my word and spending time in my presence. Remember the story of Joseph, who faced betrayal, false accusations, and imprisonment. Despite these hardships, he remained faithful to me, and I used his trials to elevate him to a position of great influence and authority. What others meant for evil, I turned for good. Similarly, the trials you face can be stepping stones to greater blessings and purpose. Trust in my plan, even when you cannot see the way forward. I want you to know that I see your struggles and hear your prayers. Every tear you shed, every cry for help, does not go unnoticed. I am a compassionate and merciful God, quick to come to your aid. When you feel overwhelmed, take refuge in my arms. Let me carry your burdens and give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. In me, you will find the peace and strength you need. The enemy often tries to isolate you, making you feel alone and forgotten. But you are never alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I am closer than a brother, a friend who sticks closer than anyone else. 
in moments of loneliness and despair, reach out to me. I am here to comfort you and remind you of my constant presence. In the face of evil, respond with the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a divine weapon that breaks the chains of bitterness and sets you free. It is not a sign of weakness, but of strength and trust in my justice. When you forgive, you reflect my heart and open the door for healing and restoration. Let go of grudges and release those who have wronged you into my hands. My child, be vigilant and sober-minded. The enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But you are not defenseless. Resist him, standing firm in your faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters around the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. You are part of a larger family of believers, all united in the same struggle and the same victory. Cultivate a heart of gratitude, for thanksgiving is a powerful antidote to fear and negativity. When you focus on my blessings and express gratitude, you shift your perspective and align your heart with my goodness. Gratitude opens your eyes to see my hand at work in your life and strengthens your trust in my provision and care. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and pursue the dreams and visions I have placed in your heart. I have given you gifts and talents to be used for my glory. When you walk in your calling, you become a beacon of light in a dark world. Trust that I will equip you for every good work and provide all that you need to fulfill your purpose. In times of doubt and fear, remember my promises. I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. My plans are higher than your plans and my ways are higher than your ways. Trust in my timing and my wisdom. Even when things do not make sense, know that I'm working all things together for your good. Keep your heart pure and your motives aligned with my will. The enemy will try to tempt you with shortcuts and deceitful ways, but integrity and righteousness are your safeguards. Walk in the light as I am in the light, and you will have fellowship with me and with one another. Let your actions be a reflection of my love and truth. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is your lifeline, your direct connection to me. In prayer, you find guidance, strength, and peace. Pray in all circumstances with thanksgiving, making your requests known to me. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. As you journey through life, keep your eyes fixed on the eternal prize. This world is temporary, but my kingdom is everlasting. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be a beacon of hope and love in a world that desperately needs it. Your life is a testimony of my grace and power. Share my love with those around you, and let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Embrace your calling and make a difference wherever you go. My beloved child, never forget that I am your shield against all evil. You are precious in my sight, and I am committed to your protection and well-being. Walk in confidence knowing that you are deeply loved and eternally secure in my care. No matter what comes your way, I am with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. My beloved child, as you continue your journey, I want to remind you of the profound truth of my presence and protection. You are never alone in your battles, for I am your constant companion, your mighty fortress, and your unyielding shield against all forms of evil. In times of adversity, draw near to me, and I will envelop you with my peace and strength. Evil often manifests in the form of fear, discouragement, and doubt. These are tools the enemy uses to shake your faith and cloud your vision. But remember, I have given you a spirit not of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When fear attempts to take hold, call upon my name. I am your deliverer, 
your strong tower and your refuge. In me, you can find courage to face any challenge and the assurance that you are never forsaken. In the face of discouragement, look to the heroes of faith who have gone before you. Abraham believed in hope against hope, trusting in my promises even when they seemed impossible. Sarah, though barren, received strength to conceive because she judged me faithful who had promised. Like them, you are part of a great cloud of witnesses who stand as testaments to my faithfulness and power. Their stories remind you that I am a promise keeper and I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. Doubt may try to undermine your confidence in me, but hold fast to the truth of my word. My promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. When doubts arise, anchor yourself in the scriptures, which are God-breathed and profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. Let my word dwell richly in you, providing a foundation of truth that cannot be shaken. You are not defenseless against the attacks of the enemy. I have provided you with spiritual armor to stand firm in the day of evil. The belt of truth secures you. The breastplate of righteousness protects your heart. The gospel of peace readies your steps. The shield of faith extinguishes fiery darts. The helmet of salvation guards your mind and the sword of the spirit. My word is your offensive weapon. Stand in this armor fully equipped for every battle. Consider the life of Moses who led my people out of bondage in Egypt. Faced with the Red Sea before him and Pharaoh's army behind, Moses stood firm in faith. With a staff in his hand and my power at his back, he stretched out his hand over the sea and it parted. My child, I am the same God who performed miracles then and I am still working wonders today. Trust in my power to make a way where there seems to be no way. In your daily walk, seek to be led by my spirit. The Holy Spirit is your guide, your comforter, and your helper. He intercedes for you with groanings too deep for words and leads you into all truth. Yield to his guidance and you will find wisdom and direction in every circumstance. He will empower you to live a life that glorifies me and brings light to those around you. When you encounter opposition, remember that it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit that you will prevail. Zechariah's words to Zerubbabel are for you as well. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Your battles are won in the spiritual realm before they manifest in the natural. Pray in the spirit, stand firm in faith, and watch as I fight on your behalf. Guard up your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the issues of life. Keep your heart pure, free from bitterness, envy, and strife. Allow my love to fill you and overflow to others. Love covers a multitude of sins and is the greatest commandment I have given you. By loving others as I have loved you, you reflect my character and draw people to me. Persevere in doing good, even when it seems like no one notices. Your labor in the Lord is never in vain. I see every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, and every sacrifice you make. In due season, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Keep sowing seeds of faith, hope, and love, and trust that I am bringing about a great harvest. Take time to rest in my presence. In a world that is constantly busy and demanding, find moments of stillness to commune with me. In quietness and trust, you will find your strength. Let my peace, which surpasses all understanding, Guard your heart and mind. Be still and know that I am God. In those moments of rest, I will renew your strength and fill you with my joy. Do not be disheartened by setbacks or failures. They are opportunities for growth and learning. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When you are weak, then you are strong, for my strength is at work in you. Embrace your dependence on me, and let me transform your weaknesses into testimonies of my grace and power. Live with an eternal perspective. This world is not your home. You are a citizen of heaven. 
Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Live in a way that reflects your heavenly citizenship, knowing that your true reward is with me. My beloved child, I am your shield against all evil. I am your protector, your guide, and your ever-present help in times of need. Walk in confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. You are loved, you are valued, and you are never alone. Trust in me, and let my peace and strength be your constant companions. My beloved child, as you continue to grow in your faith and navigate the complexities of life, I want you to understand deeply the nature of my protection and love. Each moment you face, every challenge that comes your way, remember that I am your shield, your defender, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. Evil often appears in the guise of deception and confusion, seeking to distort the truth and lead you astray. But I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hold fast to this truth and let it be your guiding light. When the enemy tries to ensnare you with lies, counter them with the truth of my word. Meditate on my promises, for they are a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Let my truth set you free from the chains of deceit. Recall the story of Daniel, who faced the den of lions because of his unwavering faith in me. Despite the peril, he trusted in my protection, and I shut the mouths of the lions. His steadfastness in prayer and his commitment to righteousness were his shields. Like Daniel, your prayers and your righteous living are powerful defenses against the forces of evil. When you stand firm in your faith, no scheme of the enemy can prevail against you. Be mindful of the influences around you. The company you keep can either strengthen your resolve or weaken your defenses. Surround yourself with those who encourage you in your faith, who uplift you, and who stand with you in the battles you face. Iron sharpens iron, and just as you are strengthened by others, so too can you be a source of strength and encouragement. Together you form a fortified wall that the enemy cannot easily breach. In moments of weakness when you feel vulnerable and overwhelmed, turn to me in worship. Worship shifts your focus from your circumstances to my sovereignty. It is in worship that you declare my greatness and invite my presence to move powerfully in your life. When Jehoshaphat faced a vast army, he appointed singers to praise me, and as they sang, I set ambushes against the enemy. Worship is a weapon that brings victory in unexpected ways. Understand the power of my name. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which you must be saved. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Call upon my name in times of distress, and you will experience my deliverance. The name of Jesus is your strong tower, a place of safety where you can find refuge. Let your life be a testament to my love and power. Your testimony is a powerful tool against the enemy. When you share what I have done in your life, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Do not underestimate the impact of your story. It can inspire faith, bring hope, and shine light into the darkest places. Your testimony is a beacon that guides others to me. In your journey, be aware of the subtlety of evil. It often comes in forms that appear harmless or even appealing. Be vigilant and discerning, testing everything against my word. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Seek wisdom, for I give it generously to all who ask. With wisdom, you can navigate the complexities of life and recognize the enemy's tactics. My child, let compassion be your response to a hurting world. When you see injustice, suffering, and pain, let your heart be moved with the same compassion that moved mine when I walked among you. Love others as I have loved you with a selfless and sacrificial love. Your acts of kindness and mercy are powerful testimonies of my love. 
and can break down the barriers that evil tries to erect. Remember, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. You can tread on serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Stand in this authority with confidence, knowing that I am with you. The enemy trembles at the sound of my name and flees when you stand firm in your faith. Use the authority I have given you to push back the darkness and bring my light into every situation. Embrace the power of prayer. Prayer is not just a means of communicating with me. It is a powerful force that can change circumstances and shift the spiritual atmosphere. Pray without ceasing, with thanksgiving, making your requests known to me. When you pray, you align yourself with my will and open the door for my intervention. Prayer is your lifeline, your connection to my power and presence. In every situation, choose to walk in humility and obedience. These virtues are not signs of weakness, but of great strength. Humility allows you to depend on my strength rather than your own, and obedience keeps you aligned with my perfect will. When you humble yourself before me and follow my commands, you open the door for my blessings and protection to flow abundantly in your life. Keep your eyes on the eternal. The trials and tribulations of this world are temporary, but my kingdom is everlasting. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Live with the hope of eternity, knowing that your present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in you. Let this eternal perspective give you the strength to endure and the courage to persevere. My beloved child, you are precious to me. I have called you by name and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. You are my treasured possession, and I will never let you go. Trust in my unwavering love and protection. No matter what you face, I am your shield against all evil. Walk in the confidence that comes from knowing you are deeply loved, eternally secure, and divinely protected. Stand firm in your faith. Draw near to me and let my presence be your constant guide and guard. My beloved child, as you journey through life, I want you to know and understand that my presence is your constant refuge and strength. Every step you take, every challenge you face, remember that I am with you, protecting you from all forms of evil. My love for you is immeasurable and my commitment to your safety and well-being is unwavering. Evil often lurks in the shadows, manifesting in the form of fear, doubt, and temptation. It seeks to undermine your faith and draw you away from my love and truth. But you, my beloved, have been given the tools and the armor to stand against these dark forces. I am your shield, your defender, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. Reflect on the power of prayer. Prayer is your direct line of communication with me, a powerful weapon against the enemy. When you pray, you invite my presence into your circumstances, allowing my power to work on your behalf. Through prayer, you can find strength, guidance, and peace. Make prayer a central part of your life, and you will be equipped to face any challenge with confidence and grace. Consider the story of Elijah, who stood alone against the prophets of Baal. In the face of overwhelming odds, he prayed to me, and I answered by sending fire from heaven. This miraculous display of my power reaffirmed the truth of my presence and sovereignty. Like Elijah, when you stand in faith and pray, you invite my miraculous intervention into your life. Never underestimate the power of a fervent prayer offered in faith. In addition to prayer, Immerse yourself in my word. The Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom, guidance, and promises. It is a living and active tool that can penetrate your heart and mind, providing clarity and strength. When you study and meditate on my word, you equip yourself with the knowledge and truth needed to counter the enemy's lies and deceptions. Let my word be your guide and your shield. 
Remember the example of Jesus, who, when tempted by Satan in the wilderness, responded with the word of God. Each time Satan tried to deceive him, Jesus countered with scripture. This is a powerful reminder of the importance of knowing and applying my word in your life. When faced with temptation or doubt, turn to the scriptures and find the truth that sets you free. Another vital aspect of your defense against evil is the community of believers. Surround yourself with fellow Christians who can support, encourage, and pray for you. The body of Christ is designed to function as a unit with each member playing a crucial role in the health and strength of the whole. When you are part of a community of faith, you are less vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. Together, you can bear one another's burdens and stand firm in the face of adversity. Reflect on the story of the early church in the book of Acts. Despite persecution and trials, they remained united in prayer and fellowship. Their unwavering faith and unity allowed them to spread the gospel and perform miracles in my name. Like them, you too can draw strength from being part of a loving and supportive Christian community. Together, you can accomplish great things for my kingdom. In your daily walk, be vigilant and discerning. The enemy often disguises himself as an angel of light, making it difficult to recognize his schemes. But I have given you the Holy Spirit to guide and protect you. The Spirit of Truth will lead you into all truth, helping you discern what is right and what is wrong. Stay close to the Spirit, listen to His promptings, and you will be able to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and grace. Consider the life of Paul, who faced numerous trials and persecutions for the sake of the gospel. Despite being shipwrecked, imprisoned, and beaten, he remained steadfast in his faith. He relied on the guidance and strength of the Holy Spirit, and as a result, he was able to accomplish great things for my kingdom. Like Paul, when you rely on the Holy Spirit, you will find the strength and courage to overcome any obstacle. In addition to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, embrace the power of worship. Worship is a powerful tool that shifts your focus from your circumstances to my greatness. When you worship, you invite my presence into your life. And where my presence is, there is freedom. Worship can break chains, lift burdens, and bring peace to your soul. Make worship a regular part of your life, and you will find that it transforms your perspective and strengthens your faith. Reflect on the story of King Jehoshaphat, who faced a vast army threatening his kingdom. Instead of focusing on the enemy, he appointed singers to praise me. As they sang and praised, I set ambushes against the enemy, leading to their defeat. This story illustrates the power of worship to bring victory in seemingly impossible situations. When you focus on me and lift your voice in praise, you invite my power to work on your behalf. As you journey through life, be aware of the power of your words. Your words have the power to build up or tear down, to bring life or death. Choose to speak words of life, faith, and encouragement. When you declare my promises over your life and the lives of others, you release my power into those situations. Your words can be a powerful weapon against the enemy, bringing light into darkness and hope into despair. Consider the story of Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. I instructed Joshua and the Israelites to march around the city and to shout on the seventh day. Their shout of faith brought the walls of Jericho tumbling down. Like them, your words of faith can bring down the strongholds in your life. Speak my promises, declare my truth, and watch as the barriers and obstacles fall before you. In addition to speaking words of faith, cultivate a heart of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to fear and negativity. When you focus on my blessings and express thankfulness, you shift your perspective and align your heart with my goodness. Gratitude opens your eyes to see my hand at work in your life and strengthens your trust in my provision and care. Make gratitude a daily practice and you will find that it transforms your outlook and fills your heart with joy. Reflect on the story of the 10 lepers who were healed by Jesus. 
Only one returned to give thanks, and he was made whole. This story illustrates the importance of gratitude in receiving the fullness of my blessings. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you open yourself up to experience my abundance and grace in greater measure. Another essential aspect of your defense against evil is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a divine weapon that breaks the chains of bitterness and sets you free. It is not a sign of weakness, but of strength and trust in my justice. When you forgive, you reflect my heart and open the door for healing and restoration. Let go of grudges and release those who have wronged you into my hands. Consider the story of Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his brothers. Despite the betrayal and suffering he endured, Joseph chose to forgive his brothers. As a result, he was elevated to a position of great authority and was able to save many lives during a time of famine. Like Joseph, when you choose to forgive, you open the door for my blessings and favor in your life. Forgiveness is a powerful act of faith that allows my healing and restoration to flow. In addition to forgiveness, embrace the power of love. Love is the greatest commandment I have given you. When you love others as I have loved you, you reflect my character and bring light into the darkest places. Love has the power to transform hearts, heal wounds, and break down barriers. Let love be your guiding principle in all that you do. Reflect on the story of the Good Samaritan who showed compassion and love to a stranger in need. Despite cultural and societal barriers, he chose to help and care for the wounded man. This act of love and kindness is a powerful example of how you can reflect my love in your daily life. When you choose to love others selflessly, you become a beacon of my light in a world that desperately needs it. As you continue your journey, keep your eyes fixed on me. Do not be distracted by the chaos and noise around you. Focus on my presence, my promises, and my love. When you keep your gaze on me, you will find the peace that surpasses all understanding and the strength to overcome any obstacle. I am your refuge, your fortress, and your shield. Consider the story of Peter walking on water. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk on the water. But when he looked at the wind and the waves, he began to sink. This story is a powerful reminder of the importance of keeping your focus on me. When you fix your eyes on me, you will find the strength to do the impossible and overcome any challenge. In your journey, be mindful of the power of faith. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It is by faith that you can move mountains, overcome obstacles, and walk in victory. Faith connects you to my promises and activates my power in your life. Nurture your faith by staying rooted in my word and spending time in my presence. Reflect on the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Despite her condition and the obstacles in her way, she reached out in faith to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. Her faith made her whole. Like this woman, your faith has the power to bring healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Reach out to me in faith and you will experience my miraculous power. In addition to faith, cultivate a spirit of perseverance. Life's journey is filled with trials and tribulations, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. The path may be difficult, but I am your guide and protector. When you stumble, I am there to lift you up. When you are weary, my beloved child, as you journey through this life, it's essential to understand the depths of my love and the strength of my protection. You are never alone, for I am with you, watching over you and shielding you from all harm. Evil exists, but you have nothing to fear, for I am your shield and your fortress. Evil often tries to instill fear and anxiety in your heart. It may come in the form of external threats or internal struggles, but remember, my perfect love casts out fear. Fear has no hold over you when you rest in my love. When anxiety attempts to overwhelm you, come to me. Lay your burdens at my feet 
and I will give you rest. My peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. Reflect on the life of David, who even as a young shepherd boy, understood the power of my protection. When he faced the giant Goliath, he did not rely on his own strength, but on my power. With just a sling and a stone, he defeated the giant because he trusted in me. Like David, you too can face your giants with confidence, knowing that I am with you and will give you victory. Trust is a crucial aspect of our relationship. When you place your trust in me, you allow me to work in your life in powerful ways. Trust is not always easy, especially when circumstances seem dire, but it is in those moments that your faith grows stronger. Remember the words I spoke to Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. These words are for you too. Trust in my plans, even when you cannot see the path ahead. Consider the life of Job, who endured unimaginable suffering, yet remained steadfast in his faith. Despite losing everything, Job did not curse me. Instead, he sought to understand and remain faithful. His story is a testament to the power of unwavering faith and trust. In the end, I restored Job's fortunes and blessed him even more abundantly. Like Job, hold on to your faith in the midst of trials, for I am with you and will see you through. In addition to trust, embrace the power of obedience. Obedience to my word and my will is a safeguard against the schemes of the enemy. When you walk in obedience, you align yourself with my purpose and protection. Reflect on the life of Noah, who despite ridicule and opposition, obeyed my command to build the ark. His obedience not only saved his family, but also preserved the future of humanity. Your obedience, no matter how small or difficult, is significant in my eyes and leads to blessings and protection. Another key aspect of your defense against evil is faithfulness. Being faithful in the small things prepares you for greater responsibilities and blessings. Consider the parable of the talents, where the faithful servants who wisely used their talents were rewarded and entrusted with more. Your faithfulness in everyday tasks, in your relationships, and in your walk with me, builds a strong foundation that cannot be easily shaken. Perseverance is also vital in your journey. Life is filled with challenges and obstacles, but I have called you to persevere. Reflect on the endurance of Paul, who faced numerous trials, including imprisonment, shipwrecks, and beatings. Yet he remained faithful to his mission and calling. His perseverance led to the spread of the gospel and the establishment of many churches. Like Paul, when you persevere through difficulties, you fulfill your purpose and bring glory to my name. Hope is another powerful weapon against the darkness. Hope anchors your soul, keeping you steady in the midst of storms. It is the confident expectation of good based on my promises. When you hold on to hope, you are declaring your trust in my faithfulness and my plans for your life. Reflect on the hope of Abraham who believed my promise of a son even when it seemed impossible. His hope was not in vain, and Isaac was born, fulfilling my promise. Hold on to hope, for I am faithful to fulfill my promises to you. Your journey is not meant to be walked alone. I have placed people in your life to support and encourage you. The community of believers is a powerful source of strength and accountability. Reflect on the early church in Acts, where believers gathered together, shared everything, and supported one another. This sense of community helped them withstand persecution and grow in their faith. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can lift you up, pray for you, and walk alongside you in your journey. Compassion is a powerful expression of my love. When you show compassion to others, you reflect my heart. Consider the parable of the Good Samaritan, who showed mercy and compassion to a stranger in need. His actions demonstrated true love and care, 
crossing cultural and societal barriers. Let compassion guide your interactions with others, for in doing so, you fulfill my command to love one another as I have loved you. In your daily walk, strive to cultivate a heart of humility. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. It is recognizing your dependence on me and valuing others above yourself. Reflect on the humility of Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but humbled himself, taking on the form of a servant. His humility led to the ultimate sacrifice on the cross for your salvation. Emulate this humility in your life, and you will find favor and honor. Gratitude is another powerful tool in your arsenal against evil. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance of my blessings. Reflect on the Israelites in the wilderness, who often grumbled and complained, despite my constant provision. Their lack of gratitude led to many hardships. In contrast, a grateful heart opens the door to more blessings and strengthens your faith. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. Integrity is also crucial in your defense against evil. Living with integrity means being truthful, honest, and consistent in your actions and decisions. Reflect on the story of Daniel, who, despite living in a foreign land with different customs and pressures, maintained his integrity and faithfulness to me. His unwavering commitment led to favor and protection, even in the face of the lion's den. Let integrity guide your actions, and you will find that it builds a strong foundation that withstands any attack. Wisdom is a gift that you should continually seek. Wisdom enables you to navigate life's challenges with discernment and understanding. Reflect on Solomon, who asked for wisdom to govern my people. Because he sought wisdom above riches and power, I granted him unparalleled wisdom and also blessed him with wealth and honor. Seek wisdom, and you will find that it brings clarity, direction, and success in all areas of your life. Patience is another virtue that fortifies your defense against evil. Patience allows you to wait on my timing and trust in my plan even when it seems delayed. Reflect on the story of Joseph, who endured years of slavery and imprisonment before being elevated to a position of great authority. His patience and trust in my plan led to the fulfillment of my promises. Be patient and know that I am working all things together for your good. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit that helps you resist temptation and remain steadfast in your walk with me. Reflect on the life of Jesus, who, despite being tempted by Satan in the wilderness, exercised self-control and resisted every temptation. His example shows the power of self-control in overcoming the enemy. Cultivate self-control in your life, and you will find that it strengthens your faith and enables you to live a victorious life. Kindness is another powerful expression of my love. When you show kindness to others, you reflect my character and touch their lives in meaningful ways. Reflect on the story of Ruth, who showed kindness and loyalty to her mother-in-law, Naomi. Her kindness led to a series of events that brought blessings and restoration to both of their lives. Let kindness guide your interactions, and you will find that it opens doors to my blessings and favor. Joy is a strength that comes from knowing and experiencing my love and presence. Joy is not dependent on circumstances, but is a deep-rooted sense of well-being and contentment in me. Reflect on the joy of Paul and Silas, who, despite being imprisoned, sang hymns and praised me. Their joy was a testament to their faith and trust in me, and it led to a miraculous deliverance. Embrace joy in your life, and you will find that it becomes a powerful source of strength and encouragement. Peace is a gift that I give to you, a peace that surpasses all understanding. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, my peace grounds you and gives you stability. Reflect on Jesus calming the storm with just a word. His peace transformed a situation of fear and panic into one of calm and tranquility. 
Embrace my peace and let it guard your heart and mind in every situation. Generosity is an expression of my love and provision. When you give freely and generously, you reflect my heart and open yourself to greater blessings. Reflect on the widow who gave two small coins, all she had to live on. Her act of generosity was honored by me, and it serves as a powerful reminder that it is not the amount but the heart behind the giving that matters. Be generous in all that you do, and you will find that it brings joy and fulfillment. Forgiveness is a powerful tool that breaks the chains of bitterness and resentment. When you forgive, you release the hold that past hurts and offenses have on you, and you open the door for healing and restoration. Reflect on the forgiveness extended by Jesus on the cross, who, despite the suffering and injustice he endured, prayed for the forgiveness of those who persecuted him. Emulate this forgiveness in your life, and you will find that it brings freedom and peace. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type, Amen.